Hey guys. Get time for everybody. Get on. I'm in the coop. Scoop and poop. Poop scooping in the coop. This is what I usually do off camera. I try to give y'all time to get on. So I have this um, scooper that I like inside the coop because it's got a finer mesh on it. So um, someone had asked when my daughter did chicken in the other day about what it is we have on the ground and we have sand. And uh, I did a lot of research before we chose sand. Um, we were gonna do shavings and you know, the cost and the, um, the sanitariness of it just wasn't effective. Um, so we looked into sand and did a lot of research and man, has it been the best thing ever. So sand you scoop just like you do a litter box. Yes, I'm wearing shorts today, by the way. So sand you scoop like a litter box and uh, it works out so good. I just love it. Stay stay so much cleaner. The smell is nothing. Every once in a while I'll come in here and it might have a little smell, but it's usually from um, the poop on the board. And so, I mean, I scoop every day. I'm doing a little extra scoop today because, you know, the girls can't do it the way you do it. So, um, it's just really sanitary. It's, uh, it, you know, if it gets wet, I can scoop it. So let's say we left the windows a little too open or the wind blew in a little too much on the, um, did I see Lock Home Dad out there? He's still out there. We left the uh, windows open and the um, rain kind of came in. If that were to happen, you know, I could scoop the sand if I wanted to and uh, be fine. And you don't have to worry about it. And then, of course, you don't have to worry about the bugs the way you do. Um, with uh, straw and um, pine shavings. And it's really cost effective. Of course, it's more up front. Look home, Dad, how much was our sand? About $50? Yeah, about 35 $35 to do our coop. And uh, we figure twice a year. So twice a year, we'll replace it. We've already replaced it once. Um, so in the spring, we'll, you replace it about what, October, November? Yeah, it seems like it. So in the spring, we'll do it again. Um, so probably probably when we put new chicks in or something, right around there. So April, we'll probably replace, April, May, Welcome Dad says. And so we'll probably replace it then. But it's literally just, I mean, I, today I'm doing a lot more because my girls just don't do it the way I do it. Um, so I'm just scooping a little bit more. But literally, it is just the coolest thing to just be able to scoop it. And so I've got, I bought this. And it's called um, Sand Dippers Junior. I got it on Amazon. It's like 20 bucks. I have another one too that's a, it's like a cat scoop, but it's got a long handle on it. So it's a longer handle and the handle has bent and stuff like that. I got it at Walmart for like 10 bucks. This one's like 20. I use that one for the run and then I use this one in the coop because it's a finer, see how fine the sleeve, the little mesh is here? So I get quite a bit from it. The only thing is, because it's shaped like a cup, you have to be a little bit more strategic in the way you empty it. So, but I just love it. I think this is the coolest thing ever. So, it's working out fine for us. Let me see what y'all got going on. Hi, mommy. Hey, Louisa. How you doing, girl? Coochie, coochie, coochie. <laughs> Our girl's on. Log home, dad. Louisa's on my daughter's, um, gosh, I wish she was on my team. I wish I would have met her first. She's on my daughter's Cincy team. She's incredible. Love her. She's so stinking funny. Cracks me up. She's Puerto Rican, and she has just got the funniest attitude I've ever seen. You just laugh and laugh when you're with her. She's our kind of people. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to get a little bit more scoopy scoop. I see Lock Home Dad out there. Y'all see him? Can you see him? Can you wave, Lock Home Dad? Can you wave? Can you wave? Can you wave? Can you see him? <laughs> oh, Emma's in here. Hey, girl. Emma's in the run. Hey, baby. Can you all see Emma? Hey, darling. Are you in with the chickens? She's so good with them. She loves them. 
She has always been so good with them. You you worry, you know, we brought them home. They were just these little tiny things. And um, she let me put them on her head, take pictures. She was so cute. And you just never know how they're going to act. Um, but she's just adorable. But she loves just about anything. Now, rabbits, she'll chase all around our yard all day long. So she cracks me up with the rabbits. All right, so I think I got the sand scooped where I want it. I just got to do the board now. So um, on my board, the board sits right underneath the roost. And we've got, right now, we've got two roosts, two, um, two boards on the roost. Let me get my scraper. So um, underneath that, Log Home Dad has me a sheet of plywood. And I use this to scrape it. So every night, I can, or every day, I just scrape it and get all the stuff off from the night before. And so any, any um, smell I have in here usually comes from whatever's on this board, so just however long. If y'all hear me scream, it's because I've got poop on me. It's probably the worst part about this. But I don't know any other way to do it. I could imagine doing this once a month or something, or even letting it go down in the sand. I think it would just be a whole mess. We've seen people that have this cloth underneath it that catches it, and like once a month, they gather the cloth up and take it out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that smell would have to be horrific. And then, of course, people use sand or pine shavings, and you don't change that every day. So that, it builds up in there, too. And it promotes, you know, bacteria growth and all kinds of stuff. So this really is, I mean, in the long run, we definitely save money, too, doing the, the sand. And of course, you know, we scoop, everything I scoop goes into, uh, we have a compost pile, and it goes in there. All right. Okay, hang on, I'm going to get my uh, egg. Let's get my egg basket and see what we got here. So then I have a little broom I keep in here too, just a little whisk broom. And about once a week, I go around and I dust off everything. Chickens naturally give off a ton of um, body dust, dander. Um, we had them even in the house at four weeks. Oh my gosh, there was dander on everything. I'm like, welcome dad, you have to have coop now. It was bad. So let me just show you some of the, let me turn you around. So can you see that? That's just dust. And so about once a month or once a week, I go around and I do everything. So you see all the dust. So I go around and do all that. And I'm going to come in here probably in the next little bit and um, with a shop back and just clean really good. So, but I just clean it all off and minimize the impact. I like them to stay clean. Y'all know that. All right. So there's that. Let's see how many eggs we got. Now, Miss Anna's not laid in the corner, so I'm wondering if she's been making it up into the box. I hope so. I hope she's not getting worse. Oh boy, we've got six or five eggs. So uh, look, my little Abby with the eye said they had, um, she had eight eggs one day, but she did them like early in the morning one morning and then not until later um, the next day. So they lay about every 26 hours, so it's possible for that to happen in a cycle like that. All right. So five eggs, log home dad. Woo! That'll fill up his tummy. I was telling um, my girl, or I was telling Danielle, my uh, blue kite mommy. So we went camping and I took eggs with us and um, I went to break one and our dishes in the camper are red. <laughs> And they're like that, that really hard plastic, that cool plastic. And uh, anyway, I went to do it and I thought it looked a little funny. So I emptied it into another 
jar and it was almost the entire white had so much blood in it like it was discolored um it was a lot of blood and um so when when you're raising chickens because she would have died if she opened that i mean every once in a while you'll see a blood spot when you're raising them you're going to see all kinds of stuff and that can definitely be one um but in the stores they go through a process of not just sizing but candling and um you never know what they pull out and put aside and all that so you don't get to see you know being a commercial egg buyer what a home egg buyer so people kind of freak out if they've not done it you know chickens before and they get things like that double yolks triple yolks um you know huge yolks blood spots i mean it all there's just some really weird stuff that can happen and it's all perfectly normal what you doing welcome dad uh-huh okay all right okay miss rose Woo! <laughs> can barely hold it with one hand when she does that. <laughs> well, there's my cuties. So we, uh, my girls got here yesterday. Log Home Dad went and dropped us off to get petties. And he took Little Miss to Cracker Barrel and to Old Time Pottery. And he, <laughs> they were at Old Time Pottery. And she says, I got a pee. <clears throat> and so he <clears throat> goes back. He said he smelt something in the store, but didn't pay too much attention. And he goes back, and um, literally, there is a guy with a mop, and raw sewage is just coming out. And he's just with a mop. And he's like, oh my gosh, it was disgusting. Um, no signs, no nothing. So he <laughs> goes to the little mobile station. He's like, can, I, can we use your bathroom? <laughs> so he had to take a little miss to the potty. <clears throat> And then he took her to a Cracker Barrel, and then his little old man was at school. So then after the petties, and we went and had lunch at this uh -huh. little French cafe nearby, and um, then had to get little man. Oh, that scared him. Had to get little man, and uh, they came back. And then we went to Downtown Disney and walked around a little bit. Um, Log Home Dad got me a pair of earrings. And then um, the kids were hungry and it was already like eight. They were getting grumpy because they were tired and hungry. And so um, we went to Olive Garden and of course it's Olive Garden by Disney. So it, the prices are already higher, but our waiter stunk. Um, and then the kids were just getting tired at the end. So we uh, literally got in the car and it wasn't, I bet you five, five or 10 minutes and they were gone. And so when we got back to the house, um, literally just put them in the car and that was, so that was easy because little man's like, are we going to go back to Grammy's and have a party? Cause we didn't even have cake. I didn't even have cake y'all. No cake for my birthday. Yeah. Olive Garden don't do the birthday cake no more. No. They used to do a birthday cake. It used to be like the favorite part of going to Olive Garden for a birthday. So yeah, so that was kind of our day. And then Log Home Dad snored all night last night. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to check Miss Anna out. I'm going to reposition her um, her sweet little bra there. And um, I think Log Home Dad and I are going to run out to Epcot tonight. The Flower and Garden Show started. So we're going to run out and see... A little bit of it. We always like to see it at the beginning because it's just so pretty when they first put it out. Um, it's pretty the whole time, but especially when they first put it out. So I think we're going to run out there. And um, I've been setting up. I had to get a new computer. My computer's like, I don't know. What are our computers? Eight, eight years old, probably. They're old. And um, mine is running so slow. So I've been working on setting the, we got, instead of a laptop, we got me a desktop. And um, so I've been, it, it, it doesn't come with a DVD player, y'all. Like, seriously, to put a CD in to download. So I've had to learn how to remotely download from my laptop onto my computer, which is kind of a cool thing. And then I'm remotely downloading my pictures. And, y'all, I have 70, almost 70 
uh, 7,000 pictures on my other computer. No wonder the doggone thing is so slow. So um, it's doing that right now while we're out here. It's downloading all the pictures. And that's not even my files. I got to do my files too. So I got QuickBooks downloaded for our business. And um, now I just got to do, I got to get all that other stuff done and set up and everything. So, but it's so cool that you can, um, I love that you can sign into like your Google account and everything's there. So like all your passwords, all your payment, all the stuff's there. So that's always so nice. So that made it kind of easier. But I've got to get used to this now because the screen is stinking big too. And um, I'm, I got a little bit of a headache after staring at it. Lockholm Dad says I need some of those computer glasses. I don't even know what that is. So I got to look into that. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get get on, have some fun with my man tonight. And um, we'll be back tomorrow. We love you guys. And I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye, y'all.